What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 4 of my NHL 21 Be A Pro series. You guys might notice got a bit of a different background behind me now. Hopefully you guys like it. Today's a big episode. We have our first ever NHL game making our debut against the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, it is a preseason game, but still um, obviously want to you know go out there, play well, try and earn a spot on this team. And look at this guys, we're actually playing first line left wing with Kopitar and I think Jeff Carter. So playing with a couple veterans here. What? <laughs> um, looked like Mark Edward Vlasic was a San Jose Shark. I was so thrown off by that. I read Vlasic, then I read Carlson. And for a second, I'm like, do they have Eric Carlson too? But of course, that's William Carlson. I was so confused. I thought we were playing like the Sharks, the skies of the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas got Jarmelson as well. <laughs> How did they get all these guys? Obviously, a goal against in our first ever NHL shift. Uh, not a good look. Hopefully, though, we can uh, answer back here, make up for that. Obviously, you know, we had a bit of the uh, the nerves. First NHL game, there we go. Right after we get scored on, answer back, goal on the breakaway. So, first goal this preseason. I don't think that's officially like our first NHL goal, as it is a preseason goal, so I don't think it counts for the record book or anything. But still feels pretty good having a goal in our first ever NHL shift. Um, we're still out there. I guess, you know, they're like, you know what, let's just leave them out there, see what else can happen. Clearly, it's exciting hockey. We got a 1 1 game, minute in. We go for it. <laughs> Imagine we get a Michigan as well. Still first shift. Oh, are you kidding me? Our next shift, we get scored on again. Unlucky. We're out there for another goal. That was even a good one, though. Just <laughs> quick let that in. Come on. Oh, we should have had that. Mike Smith, they also have a net. I just realized that. What trades did this team make? There we go. Uh, Gabe Lardy, actually, the Spitfire, gets a goal, brings us back within one. I still can't believe we were out there for all three goals against. I mean, luckily, you know, we scored a goal on our first ever NHL shift, but that still hurts. Actually, Schmidt's still on the team. That's right. So they're not even using the most recent roster update. <laughs> we get scored on again. Unreal. <sighs> Come on, Carter. You got to bury that. Second period now, by the way, not much has happened. I'm just grinding it out here. Start the, third, start the third period now, guys. Still down by two. Hopefully, uh, we can at least score one here. Help us make it back. He tried there. Oh, he should have fed me it. Cross crease. Oh, let's go. I was going to say, if Carter doesn't bury that, down by one now, we're, we got like John Marino, I see, is also on the Vegas Cold Knights, so they made a ton of moves. LA seems to be pretty much the same. Um, I think there might be like one new player on this team who I can't remember because he wasn't a very big name or anything. Chris Tandev. Chris Tandev is uh, the new guy in the Kings. I guess Lafferty too. Kopitar's going. <sighs> Tried to give it to me, but I didn't even call for it. He forced that one. Stone takes it. Oh, no. Now we're on the PK. Three minutes left. Look at that, we actually scored a goal, minute and a half left. Cam forces this thing to OT. Booty OT winner, let's make it us. Here we go, three on three. Oh, are you kidding me? Off the crossbar, that should have been the game winner. I've been out here this whole time. Tells me to change, no, no, we're going for the goal. Oh, what a pickup. I had to get off, I was like a minute and a half in, they score there on a little cross crease. At least we were on the ice for every single goal. Uh, we were out there for the first four, but not that fifth one. Didn't even get a star. I think we finished with a goal in and assist. Not too bad, minus two, five shots. Decent NHL debut, we had a chance for that OT winner off the crossfire. That hurts. All right, so looking at the stats from our NHL debut, B minus overall, goal in and assist, minus two hurts, plus five, lots of time on ice there. Um, 800 followers, the other stuff there didn't change. Um, we'll see if we have another meeting. We do with reporter Bird. First or last name? It is last name, okay. So the first preseason game is over and you put it on quite a show. How did you feel on the ice tonight? Uh, I just thought at home on the ice, I love it. Even though I was out there for four again. Uh, do you have a chance of making the final roster of LA Kings? You can certainly be part of the roster already. These preseason games are just a formality. That's a bit aggressive, but our only answer there after we use the first star one. Brand liked it a lot, plus 125. 
management and uh, fans didn't seem to mind, so that's good. And this is pretty cool, guys. I was looking around the menus. There's this thing here, Milestone Tracker. Uh, that basically just shows you the awards you've won. So we have yet to win a Stanley Cup, obviously. Or a Conn Smythe, Hart, Selkie, Art Ross, Bruce Richard. You can try and get all five. Records broken is pretty cool. All-Star Game selections, conference wins, hat tricks. Hopefully we can at least add one of those soon. Um, obviously zero points because we've only played in the preseason. It also tracks when you get your first NHL point as well as your first NHL goal. Hopefully you get both of those in our first real NHL game. Milestone points, milestone goals. So that's pretty cool, honestly. That keeps track of that. Obviously you have something to work towards. And in saying that too, there's actually a record book here. So if you want to stay with LA, uh, never get traded. You know, we can try and break all these records. Marcel Dion, 1,300 points. going to be tough. Um, 17 seasons with the team. Dave Taylor, you got assists, games played. Uh, penalty minutes there. Marty McSorley's 1,800 penalty minutes. I don't think I'll be beating that. Um, obviously, the goalie stuff we can't. Luke Robitaille's 557 goals. Um, also, too, I realized you can actually view the team's line, which is nice. So, like I was mentioning, they got us in the first line with Kopitar and Carter. Um, so, they got Camp on the team. It was always Heinen. It's a new guy. Um, it is preseason, so there's some guys here probably aren't going to make the team. Like, you can see the bunch of 60s. Lafferty, defense. Tanev's new. I think that's it. Goaltending wise, quick. Yeah, they got some 60s. So, um, definitely interesting there. I noticed too, I was looking at special teams, clearly the three-man penalty kill is broken because they have us playing center, but um, center for whatever reason is in the bottom corner where lefty is supposed to be. I'm not really sure what's going on there. It sucks for franchise trying to make chemistry work. But now guys, I think we'll get into the next game against the Vancouver Canucks. I only thing I actually wanted to ask you is how often you think I should be playing games. I don't think I'll be playing every single game this season. Like 82 games is just too much, but um, I was thinking maybe like two games a week, two games a month. Um, simulate the others. That way, you know, we do progress through the story, through the season. Uh, maybe stuff happens in the off season where they're like, oh, I'm not sure if he's happy. Does he want to get a trade? Things with the playoffs. We, we want to see kind of what happens. So let me know how often I should be playing games. I'll basically let you guys decide, top comment or whatever. Right now, I'm leaning towards one game a week because I'd have us play at least a quarter, maybe a third of the games. Um, also, guys, I forgot to mention, but um, in the beginning there, I saw Vancouver. I'll just push on net. That almost went in. Uh, they got Kudobin in net, so... He did not return to Dallas here. Definitely kind of cool to see what happens with different teams. Come on, Kopitar, go to the net. There we go. Take that one nothing lead. Vancouver just scored. Um, I don't even know who it was. Shows a couple hits for their team and nothing else, but we got a tie game now. Hopefully I uh, can break it. Gusev's now Vancouver Canuck. Got him playing on the top line with uh, Peterson and Besser. Not too bad. Bit of an upgrade, I think, from the Devils. Vancouver just scored. Uh, Peterson. Puts him up 2-1. Alright. Let's try and tie this thing. Coach is calling me over as well now. What do you want to say? We haven't had any sustained pressure. I need to change that. Go star. Goal can swing the momentum. I'll get one coach. Again, I'm going all star here. Trying to build my brand. And hopefully like, make more money. So we can buy, you know, the Teslas, the mansions, things like that. I see him. There we go. Cross crease is too easy. 2-2. Dang, Peterson on the breakaway. Again, I don't know. Honestly, he might even have a hat trick. I don't know who scored the first Canucks goal. I know he got the second. He's now got the third. Still, though, decent amount of time left. Heading to the third period. All right, Peterson doesn't have a hat trick. I'm not sure who scored the first, but I see he's got two goals there. So, still looking for our goal. He promised the coach one. Obviously, we need it now to tie it up. Ooh, let's go. That's a little nice pass and play. We have a tie game now. Nice try. Oh, that bounced a little bit towards us. So we're heading to OT now, guys. As you can see, we still have the score challenge. We didn't get one last uh, game in OT. We are close. Hopefully this one we can get that OT game winner. Oh, we're gone. Oh, why did you not feed me earlier, Kopitar? Come on. All right, we're out there. 30 seconds left in OT. We got to get this. If not, hopefully we're in the shootout. Oh, what a block. Kind of got tripped there. Usually that's a tripping goal if I do it not. <laughs> Going for like the buzzer beater. <laughs> nice save by Kudovan. All right. Shoot out. This should be fun. With the first shot. Oh, are you kidding me? These goalies have yet to let in a goal. High in there, the fourth shooter. If yourself scores it, it's over. Quick. Shuts the door. Kempe. 
What a glove from Kudobin. Cole in. Jeez, these goalies right now. I think we're on to like the sixth or I think this is the seventh shooter. And Clegg loses the puck. That's not a good look. Ripping. Gets the, the game winner there in the shootout. That was like the eighth shooter, I think. So that sucks. Back to back heartbreaks and OT. Luckily, it's the preseason. Not exactly a goal, but they can't score if we had them in their zone. I didn't get a goal from it, I did get an assist. Still time for me to bury one, I'm not done yet. Uh, I mean, the game did just end in OT, don't really understand that response. And look at that, we actually got the second start of the game with three assists. Again, like, you know, pretty good game for us, even though we didn't get a goal. After the game, guys, James Sabelski was saying how he had us penciled into the opening night roster, so hopefully that's the case. Um, overall, B grade there for that game. I mean, three assists tonight, uh, we were plus one as well. Out there, 23 and a half minutes as a forward, did a lot. Five shots on net, actually gained uh, experience everywhere there, which was nice. 760 followers, plus 25 brand, plus 50 management. So pretty happy with that game. I can't believe that still. Like back-to-back -back, um, OT losses, though. Really good chances in both. Um, so we're talking to the coach here. Hey, Tack, you know you're delivering. Uh, keep up the good work, okay? I don't want to have any doubts from placing you in the team. Uh, that's my jam, coach. Like I said, all-star. We're going for the uh, the brand, buy some stuff. I just don't want you to lose focus, all right? Now our next preseason game is against the Arizona Coyotes. As you can see, we already have five points in two games, though. And as I mentioned, I was thinking I'd probably, you know, play one or two games a week. I don't really think we have to play the next five preseason games to make this roster. They already mentioned how we should be on it. Five points in two games. I'm hoping, essentially, like, you know, the sim does close to that. We can actually jump to the NHL here. So we finally win a game where I sim it. 4-2 against the Coyotes. 4-3 shootout loss to the Ducks. Um, coach here wants to have a conversation. Hey, Tack, you're doing great. As I always say to players like you, don't get too cocky. Uh, being overconfident is my fuel coach, which is me to always have to, to be up to the challenge. I like it. Keep up the good work. Okay. Hopefully make this team plus 25 brand and management. He actually liked that reply, which is nice. Um, so Belsky too is saying how he'd be shocked if we're not on the opening night roster. So like I said, we'll just sim the next five preseason games because I feel like they don't really matter too much. We'll see whether or not we make that roster. The preseason is over and you did great to make it on the regular season roster. Let's go. Uh, currently second line player. That's pretty good. Uh, amazing coach. I knew I was made for this. I don't expect any less from our first round pick. Things will only get tough from now on, so be prepared. I mean, second line though, I think that has us playing with like Heinen and I don't know, some other player, maybe Kempe. Um, plus 1600 there, experience with that conversation. So awesome to see we are not, you know, getting sent down to the AHL. I'm not sure if you can. I assume if you play terrible and like don't score any points, bad penalties, whatever, you don't make the NHL roster immediately, you get sent down to the AHL. But, who knows? We actually did lose that last game to the Flames. So still 3-1-3 and three through the preseason. And it looks like our first NHL game is going to be the home opener against the San Jose Sharks, a rivalry game. That should be a lot of fun. Another interview here with the reporter. Uh, I went from the draft floor to being drafted, going through preseason. Now it's time for NHL debut. What do you expect from this game? I'm really excited about it and expecting it to be a challenging but fun. Right now I'm really focused, not looking to talk too much. I need to keep the concentration. It's like a Marshawn Lynch or something. Uh, that's understandable. One more question. How do you describe yourself as a player? I'm a great player, of course. You guys don't know me already. I'll describe myself as the future Calder winner. We'll try the Persuade. It did work. Plus 25 brand. Alright, we wouldn't expect any less. Good luck. Jeez, that Persuade was like more cocky than the star answer, I'd say. So like I mentioned, guys, our first NHL game will be the home opener against the Sharks. Gonna save that for the next episode. Uh, one thing I want to show you, actually, though, we have $37,500 now. Um, before, when we had nineteen grand, we could afford this little... Uh, e-bike, motorcycle thing. You get minus one speed though, which sucks, for plus one offense awareness, but we can actually afford the bicycle now. Plus one strength and speed. It's permanent, so the perks last forever. There's basically no reason not to get it. Definitely gonna grab that. So our first purchase there, we get the bike. Faster, stronger, ready for our first NHL game. Should be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Have a ton of videos planned for you guys this week. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.